Hi and welcome back to Power Electronics Lectures. In this lecture, uh, I will talk about a very important topic, which is uh, the freewheeling diode. We'll see what is uh, what we what what do we mean by the freewheeling diode? Why do we need the freewheeling diode? What are the advantages uh, if we connect a freewheeling diode with an RL uh, load? Uh, and also we'll derive the current and voltage uh, within the circuit, with an RL uh, uh, load circuit. Let's try to remember the diode uh, switch circuit with RL load. Last time we said we have a circuit like this. Here we have a voltage power supply. And then here we have switch. And here we have a diode. And these are all connected to a load or a load. A switch, and this is a power supply, Vs, plus minus, a Vr. And VL. Now we said when we switch on this switch, what's happening in the circuit? The current will start flowing in this direction. The diode will be on, will be short circuit, and then the current and the voltage behavior. We draw this last time. Now the problem is when we switch off the diode, when we try to open this diode, like make it open circuit, what's happening at this moment? Now we have energy stored in this inductor. This energy needs to go somewhere, right? If we switch off this diode, we make it open circuit, all the energy will go and be dissipated in this switch, in this transistor, for example. And this switch will be damaged. OK, so here we have a problem. What we, need is, what we need to do is to provide another path, another path for the current. Now, just imagine that we have, we have a road here, OK, and the cars are like moving in this road. And suddenly, you make this road open circuit. Like, you provide a hole in this road. What's happening to the cars? We'll fall down in this hole, right? What we need to do is to, before opening this hole, okay, we need to provide another path for the cars to move, right? To find another path of that. The same thing happening in, the, in this circuit. Now we have we have current here in this uh, inductor, and this current m must be dissipated somewhere when we open the circuit, right? When we switch off the di the transistor or the switch. So what we need to do is to add something we call a freewheeling diode. The job of this freewheeling diode is to take the current from the inductor and provide another path to dissipate this current or this energy inside the resistor. So here we can add what we call the freewheeling diode. I'll call this DF, D freewheeling diode. Now what's happening here? When the diode is on, short circuit so the current will flow normally in the circuit no problem this freely freewheeling diode will be off because the potential here is larger than here or there is the current in the will be in the opposite direction so this will be open circuit okay and the current will flow inside 
the load. Okay? Now, when we open this circuit, when we switch off this switch, what's happening? This will be open circuit. We have energy here inside the inductor. What's happening in this energy? Now the current is already moving in this direction. Once we switch off the switch, what's happening? The current will move in this diode and will be dissipated in the resistor. Okay, so this is the main idea of the freewheeling diode. Now again, we have two currents. The yellow current when the switch the yellow current when the switch is on and the red current when the switch is off. During the first mode, when the switch is on, the current will be exactly similar to what we derived last time. So this will be how much? Vs over R times 1 minus E to power minus R over L times T. Now for mode 2, when the switch is off or when the switch is open, open circuit, how to find the current? Now, this will be short circuit, right? And here, the voltage across the load is equal to zero. And the, cross, uh, the voltage across the load is equal to LDI by DT, the voltage on the inductor, plus the voltage on the resistor, which is R times IL. This is IL, inductor current. Now, again, you can go for time domain simplification, or you can convert this one to S domain. So this will be 0 is equal to L, S, I, L, and the S domain, okay, minus the initial condition, I1, plus So we expect that the, max, the current at that moment when we switch off uh, the switch or when we open the switch, I1. If there is no current, of course, the, the value, this value will be zero. But we know that there is current because the circuit was closed before this and we have current, we have energy, we need to dissipate this energy. So the maximum of this energy will be I1, okay? Plus R times IL of S. Make some simplification for this. You'll find that I L of S, the inductor current is equal to I1 over S plus R over L. And this simply will be in time domain, how much? I L of T, I1, E to power, minus r over l times t okay now again we have just summarized this one here we have our freewheeling diode and here we have the other diode and here we have the switch we said the current will be flowing first when the switch is on the yellow current. When the switch is off, we have the red current here. Okay? Now, we derive the equation for each one of these currents. The yellow current, IL of T, Vs over R times 1 minus E to power minus R over L times C. And the red current, I L of T is equal to 
i1 times e to power minus r over l times t. Now let's draw these uh, two currents and see how, how they look like. So this is the current I of T. Okay. Now, the yellow current here, when the switch is on, will be like this. Right? And it will reach to the maximum value, which is I1. And the maximum is how much I1? Vs over R. The maximum value so this equation now at this moment when we switch switch off the day the transistor the switch here we make it open circuit what's happening so the current will be the free wheeling diode current So this is the load current. This portion plus this portion. Okay. Now the source current will be only the first portion, which is this one. And the freewheeling diode current will be this portion only at T1 from T1 to which is I1 e to power minus R over LT. See you next time.